Why is it important to participate in clinical trials? A simple truth is that the only way to get better treatments is to go through a clinical trial to show that a given treatment is both safe and effective for a given condition. Unfortunately for Lewy body dementia right now, there are no proven treatments in the United States, and we need to address that problem urgently. Uh, clinical trials involve being exposed to an experimental compound and or a placebo treatment, and the goal of the trial is to compare the two over a period of time and look at a number of different outcome measures, usually involving cognition, but also general global function as well. The idea behind a clinical trial is to show that the treatment compared to a placebo does have clear-cut benefits as well as safety. And the placebo part of the trial is really important because if you just give somebody a treatment, they often have an expectation that it will make them better, and it often will, uh, and we call that a placebo effect. So the only way to really know if the improvement is due to the treatment per se is to compare the treatment against the placebo. Now that means that some people involved in the trial will get the treatment, but other people will get the placebo. Many trials are done for a fixed period of time, such as six months. Many trials, though, have an, what's called an open-label extension, where people, whether they were given the active treatment or not, are able to continue on the study medicine knowing that they are actually getting the study medicine. And I think that often provides incentive for people to go for a brief period of time without the active treatment and being treated with the placebo, given the fact that there are not any standard treatments for Lewy body dementia. People with LBD can have severe medication sensitivities. How do we know if clinical trials are safe enough to participate in? What that depends on is where in the course of study a particular experimental agent is. There are three stages of experimental studies for any potential experimental treatment, phase one, phase two, and phase three. The type of studies that we're talking about are really phase two and phase three studies. A phase three study is the large multi-center trial that if that agent is shown to be safe and effective in a large pivotal trial, as they're referred to, then it will be approved by the FDA pending it meets all the qualifications. Um, a phase two trial is a smaller trial with a, an agent that has not gotten as far in the development phase, and that is where there may be a little bit more risk about potential side effects. But those studies are usually done on a relatively small basis on the order of a few hundred people as opposed to a few thousand for the large phase three trials. And by the time an agent gets to a phase three trial, it has been screened pretty well for safety, and you can be assured that if there are any safety issues that we're aware of, that they should be uh, essentially known by that time. 